Smartphones. I unbox rather a lot of them. They each bring their own unique elements and features. New shapes, new designs, more cameras, higher megapixel counts. They do little bits and pieces to change things up and revolutionize the game, but few of them really shake up what's out there. Well, there's a brand which was here brought to South Africa. It's one of the top mobile makers, Vivo Mobile. It's been with us for about a year in South Africa and already it's carving its way into being a serious, serious contender with the brands out there. They use a brand philosophy known as Benfin, which means taking what you're doing, basically taking where you are and just giving the best of the best. It's bringing affordability, bringing technology to the masses, but packing serious internals and revolutionizing what you do. And I'm extremely excited to take a look at this. This is their new X50 Pro. It's a 5G enabled smartphone and it packs a quad camera display. It packs powerful internals, but the big one is it claims to be the world's first gimbal stabilized smartphone. Now gimbal photography really ups the game in terms of having smooth, stable photography. I use, for example, gimbal cameras when I shoot car infomercials or car reviews, even phone reviews, when I want to get that perfect, still steady shot. It's often a gimbal that comes to the aid. And it's exciting to see a phone which packs impressive performance, 5G technology, and a gimbalized stable camera. But let's take a look at this new step into mobile photography. Let's, without further ado, unbox the Vivo Mobile X50 Pro. So now that we've cut the plastic open, let's get inside, jump inside the box, see what we grease it with. You get really high quality premium feeling packaging. Of course, as we've come custom to see, the Vivo X50 Pro is your first thing you greet it with. It's the device itself. It tells you a little bit about some of the impressive features which it offers. It's 48 megapixel gimbal stabilized camera. The 60 times hyper zoom functionality, which I'm extremely excited to try out. Extreme night vision mode. Now it claims to have one of the best low light cameras too, so keen to check that out. As well as an underscreen 3D curved O screen with a fingerprint sensor. And it's got very neat looking styling from what I've seen in the imagery. So keen to take it out and feel it in the hand. Already I can feel it's pretty weighty, feels very premium, but we'll get into it in just a second. So let me lay it aside. Apart from this, you get your tray here. We take that out. You're getting this, which is a fast charge, Vivo's Flash Charge 2.0. It's a fast charge adapter here, which is another feature of this phone. Fast charging, which is a good job with its 4,000 315 milliamp hour battery. I think that'll get some performance, but we'll chat about that in a sec. Then it's nice to see they've included this TPU style soft case. So straight out of the box, you don't have to look for one. There is a case to protect its gorgeous styling and profile. Inside here, a SIM pin ejection tool. Then underneath that, we're getting a USB type C cable. Again, quite nice that they've included a long lead here. So again, another nice touch there. And over on this side of the box here, we're getting a pair of in-ear phones here, which we'll take out, just to give you a quick look around. Quite nice, very premium feeling and the style, the white with the Vivo branding. So we're getting those. And of course, there's a couple of extra different tips and buds here, options for the different ear canals. There's also an adapter here because, of course, this doesn't have a three and a half mil audio jack, so you get a Type C to three and a half mil to use your own, and just simply adapt it if you want to use any pair of traditional three and a half mil earphones. But apart from this, we can now throw aside some of the packaging and jump into the important stuff. Let's take a look around using the Vivo Mobile X50 Pro. We'll jump into peeling off the screen protection in just a second, but you get a really neat looking device. I love the rounded edges that it's got here. The bottom you got your SIM pin tray, your USB-C, and a single firing bottom speaker. Over here on the one side of the device, very clean, very neat. 
over on the back you get this which I think looks absolutely gorgeous it's actually a frosted looking back it's got a premium feel to it and I love the way they haven't gone for that typical shiny catch um, mirror type finish but actually they've smoothed it out with a more frosted image which I think looks incredibly stylish feels great in the hand too the big one of course is this the camera bump which says pro you're getting three lenses over at the back but the central one which is the 48 megapixel primary camera is actually a stabilized gimbal camera which is really something I'm excited to get into it's also set to do some extreme low light as it said on the front so keen to check that out apart from this on the other side pretty traditional your volume and power keys and over at the top just a clean overall finish with a nice stylish design and the 5G branding there so on the whole looks great without doing anything further I think it's time to peel away that screen protector now and then we'll start using the device and see what it's like using the Vivo Mobile X50 Pro so I think let's power this on and see what it's like to use and then we'll discuss some of the features so now that we've unboxed this device let's take a look around it firstly look at the display it's a 6.5 inch display absolutely gorgeous it's an AMOLED display 90 Hertz refresh rate and I must say you can really feel a 90 Hertz phone it just feels so much better to the touch then apart from its 1080p resolution it's got this waterfall style edging which looks incredibly good it really is a bright vibrant and very impressive display this but it's much more than this it's Android version 10 out of the box it's running FunTouch 10.5 which is Vivo Mobile's operating system they use, their UI that you see and I must say it's very much like a stock Android type of feel to it very neat, very clean, works incredibly well then you find it's got 8 gigs of RAM in terms of the internals and it really is a snappy device to use thanks to its Snapdragon 765 octa-core chipset as well as Adreno 620 GPU the device packs 8 gigs of RAM and apart from this it's got a 4315 milliamp hour battery couple this with a supercharge adapter in the box and you're in for minimum of a full day of use in terms of gaming which it does really well I've played around a bit video um, viewing and multimedia and overall usage you also find that it comes in two colors either dark or a light body and I must say it's a gorgeous looking thing but that brings us on to perhaps its most key and important feature that over there the camera bump over at the back has four lenses three of which you see primary as the main focus a smaller one below and it is a 48 megapixel primary shooter which is a stable gimbalized camera then you get a 8 megapixel telephoto lens you get an 8 megapixel ultra wide as well as a 13 megapixel portrait lens and in front we get not just any selfie cam, that little cut out hole over at the top there not only is it unobtrusive, it's a 32 megapixel selfie camera so I think it's now time to press the camera button here jump into the various shooting modes and show you what this can do firstly you can get super wide angle modes here and if you do some of the zoom you'll see the quality, the level of detail, that plant is quite far back there and I'm literally seeing everything on the leaves really incredible it'll do a whopping 60 times ultra zoom here and I'll show you some examples because of course it's not easy to show you in this little scene here but it is mighty impressive apart from wide angle you can of course get portrait shots which will blur out a bit of the background you get the super night mode if we jump aside here you also get video it'll shoot 1080p at 60 frames full 4k video and thanks to its gimbal built in incredibly incredibly stable you also find that you're getting a whole bunch of other shooting modes your time lapse, a pro mode, super moon you can put in slow motion, here's the pro mode where you can fiddle with the white balance, autofocus, ISO the electronic viewfinder there is no end to fancy features and then if we really want we can even spin this round and even the forward facing camera there as you can see there's this guy has got full on face detection and incredibly premium resolution and detail you really are getting an epic epic camera here but you're getting overall a great device it packs 5G technology stylish lines, dimensions and a great premium build and feel in the hand I think much in keeping with the brand's philosophy and the type of devices they bring out 
the Vivo Mobile X50 Pro is one that I certainly can recommend and one of the nicest devices I've used in a long, long time. From me, Jason of Technobock, until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Thank <laughs> you.